So if you are somebody that takes their privacy very seriously, especially if you are streaming using third party applications, then I'm sure you'd like to ensure that your VPN is always running. Now the developer of this new application called VPN Privacy Dot reached out to me last week telling me about his new application. But when he showed me some of these features which are available right now, including changing the blinking rate, changing the location of the indicator, changing the transparency, the ability to auto start, all of these features are available today. The application is really stable. I've had it on my device for a while. And I can say if I had to recommend one privacy dot monitor, this is the one I'll actually recommend. I mean, both are free, so you're obviously free to choose whichever one you want to choose. But I think with some of these features that the guy has put in, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So here I am on my third generation Fi TV cube. We can see on the top left, we have a very faint blinking cursor. And because that's green, we can see that means that my VPN is currently running. Let me start the application, which looks like this. Let's open that up. So really nice, really clean layout, but just a ton of customization options which are available immediately. I know with the other application, the developer was waiting for 100 donations and I believe that target has been met and he's now working on some of those new features. But if you see on this application, right now I can choose where I'd like to position the indicator. So at the moment we can see top left. Uh, let's go for bottom left. Let's click on that. And we can see immediately now the indicator is on the bottom left. Let's go down. Now we can even customize the transparency. Some people did leave a comment saying they are really concerned about their privacy. They do want to make sure that their VPN is always running. And if it crashes, they'd like to be told straight away. But having a bright blinking indicator, it was slightly off-putting, especially when you're trying to watch content. Now here we can see on this application, the VPN privacy dot, you can actually customize how transparent this is. So if I put this on 20, we can see now it's extremely faint. So if you're somebody that doesn't want to be disturbed, doesn't want to see a bright green flashing icon, you can turn that down to 20%. Let me put that back onto 80, just so you can see what it looks like. Let's go down again. Now you can even choose how frequently this actually pulses. So right now it's configured to pulse every two seconds. But if I change that to 12 seconds, we can see now we have those 12 seconds. So again, if you're looking for something that's not gonna be in your way or in your face, so this option where you can choose how frequently it pulls and tells you on the screen, I really do think that's a, a fantastic feature of this completely free application. So it's now set to 12 seconds. Let's go down and you can even customize the indicator size. So here, for example, I'm 150%, but for example, if that's too big for my screen or maybe um, I want it less imposing, I can put that down to 100%. That's now even smaller guys. And maybe if you have, you know, eyesight issues or maybe you're far away from the TV, you can put this onto 200 and that's now a lot bigger. So again, this is what I was saying, in terms of customizations, in terms of tweaking, all of these options are built into this application. And also in terms of reliability, some of the comments I received in my last video talking about the VPN monitor dot, some of you are saying that it was unreliable whereby it kept on crashing and required you to keep on starting the app manually. This application hasn't even crashed once for me so far. So again, in terms of reliability, it, it does look very positive. Okay, let's go down. Now we can even change the the style of the animation or you know whether it's blinking or you can change it to moving. Now, I mean, personally, I'd find that a bit distracting, but again, you know, customizations, some of you may prefer it. Some of you may think that they can't actually see the blinking icon properly, but the fact that you have a moving board, this should be even easier to see. So lots of different customization options. We do seem to get that extra reliability and this application for its initial release does seem to be very positive. And I know you guys are always looking for other options especially other free options. And I definitely think this application is worthwhile checking out, especially if you are somebody that's super conscious, super concerned about their privacy, and you want to ensure that your device always informs you if the VPN gets terminated or something stops, 
having something like this, this visible indicator on the home screen or really inside any application, you can quickly confirm if your VPN is up or not. So for those features, I do think it's really good. Now to get this on all of your devices, whether that's Android TVs or Amazon devices, if you press the home key, let's quickly go over to settings, go down into MiFi TV. Now where it says developer options, just ensure inside install unknown apps, you've enabled downloader. And this just means that you can download applications through downloader and then install them. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up downloader. Inside downloader, we can type in this special code, which is just 678183. So 678183. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to the developer's website. Now, the reason why I'm taking you there is I do want to show you some of those other features. Now we can see free VPN connection monitoring for Fire TV and Android. Let's scroll down. It does actually support the start on boot. So what that means is once you've installed this application, it will always be running when the device starts. And I will demonstrate this in real time in just a second. And here we can see he's just waiting to work out his taxes before he adds a PayPal donate button. And I mean, donating a dollar or two, you know, for these applications, which provide a great service, I think it's definitely worthwhile doing. So to download this, go back to the top and you want to click on this big red icon here. Let's click on that. And this will download the latest version directly onto your device. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment privacy, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, let's click on install. Okay, that's now all done. We can click on done. We can see the application still running in the bottom left, but let's now do the restart. So press the play button and the select button. Let's hold them down for eight seconds. And let's have a look now. Does this application actually do what it's supposed to do and auto start on your device? Because you can imagine that maybe if you do reboot your device, you may forget to start this. You'll fire up your VPN, maybe start your favorite streaming application, but in the background, maybe your VPN will terminate and you just won't know. And you'll be using your streaming app without a VPN. And I know lots of you only like to stream when your VPN is running. Okay, so let's go back in. And there we have it. Now, very interestingly, why is it green? Because that means my VPN is running. Now, maybe ExpressVPN, I actually configured that to auto start. I, mean, I don't remember doing that, but let's have a look. Let's go back in. Oh, and it's connected again. So that just confirms that the application is working properly. As soon as my device restarted, because it automatically reconnected back to my last VPN server, once the VPN privacy dot started, it noticed that my VPN was running, which is why that indicator is now green. But the main thing is it did automatically start. And just to confirm, if I do terminate my VPN, let's turn this off. Let's go home. And we can now see we get an instant warning indicator telling us that the VPN is now terminated. So having an indicator like that, you'll know exactly when your VPN is stopped. And talking about VPNs, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hype Vanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know which option you prefer. But both applications are completely free. So do try them out. Leave me a comment below and let me know which one works better for you. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.